In the first part, we have the LP being rotated at 33 RPM. We need to calculate the angular velocity. We can start by writing omega, the angular velocity, is the angle covered in time. So in one minute, which is 60 seconds, we have got 33 revolutions. And each revolution corresponds to 2 pi radians. So the total angle can be written as 33 times 2 pi. And that will give us an angular velocity of 3.5 radians per second. The next part states that as the stylus moves towards the center of the LP, the encoded bumps must be fitted into a shorter length of groove. Explain why the encoding of the bumps in the groove becomes more compressed as the stylus moves towards the center. We can look at two, two concentric circles with different radii so that this is the path that the stylus follows outside the, outside the LP and this is when it has moved towards the inside. We are Given that we have already found that the angular velocity is 3.5 radians per second, and that angular velocity is constant. So as the stylus moves in, the angular velocity does not change. That also tells us that the period is constant, using the fact that omega is 2 pi over t. So the time for a full cycle is not going to change whether the circle is the small one or the big one. But if we think about the the distance that the stylus covers, when the stylus is uh, outside it has a much larger distance to cover and as it moves inside the distance is uh, shorter. So the length of the path becomes smaller. Then, given that in for both paths we need to encode the same amount of uh, bumps because they both correspond to a cor but they both correspond to one period the same amount of bumps need to be encoded then in order to fit the same amount of bumps into a shorter path they need to become more compressed <laughs>